Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we find ourselves at a Bass Pro Shop where our good friend Direct D is attempting to buy a crossbow. And bear in mind that this video came out yesterday, and as of in the past couple of days, he's essentially a wanted man in certain areas of Arizona. Now, in Arizona, you can own a crossbow even if you're a felon because it's not considered to be a firearm. Direct D is right in this video about that but there's just so many other things that he is so wrong about so let's go ahead and sit back relax and enjoy the show i got a question for you is one of these guys the manager uh you might be able to get it you how come I'm being asked to fill this out? And Walmart didn't ask me to fill it out. It's just a small policy. Just, yeah, hey, direct douchebag. Uh, just because Walmart does something doesn't mean that everybody else has to do that thing. I mean, stores are run differently from corporation to corporation. Well, it's, it's, everything is different between Walmart and Gastro. What we have to do is if someone is wanting to get a weapon, which would be like black powder, Bows, crossbows, you name it, where it doesn't require a background check, we have to put a piece of paper to the floor. And if, if there is a felony uh, history or criminal history, then there's no set. So this is a black county felony. Right. Right. So it's going to be. It doesn't local. say anything about a felony. It doesn't say anything. If there's something that was done, if there's somebody in the action act and do a bit on a felony Okay. But it doesn't say anything about the bow. Correct. But it does say it's from the history. Yeah. Yeah. You're the manager here? No. Okay. Well, what's your position here? Up there. Up there. Yeah. Where's the manager at? He's downstairs. He's going to customer service. He's going to customer service. You can ask uh, the James. You want to ask him to come up here? Or you want to have to park my child down there? Sure. Oh, okay, cool. Go right back. <laughs> Oh, it's going to be a black powder? <laughs> so, so somebody's playing a game here oh, and trying to tell me I need to fill this out to buy a crossbow. Yeah. So that's dis discriminatory, yeah, yeah, no? Okay, uh, direct douche canoe. Uh, can you please explain how the uh, policy at Bass Pro Shop is discriminatory against you personally? And how does that damage you? But of course, I don't think you're going to explain it very well at all. It doesn't. I think they filed a lawsuit or somebody tried filing a lawsuit against us. Some dude bought a crossbow and he had a felony. And he ended up shooting somebody with a crossbow. This, I mean, so that goes back on Bass Pro. So they're double checking if we can do those. Ah, so it is a liability issue, which having worked in retail for a number of years myself, I can fully understand uh, where they're coming from because, well, they don't want to get sued for damages or anything like that. And I mean, I have been in some uh, safety team meetings at my stores. And, well, let me tell you something. There's a lot of stupid crap that want customers will do and attempt to sue any store over. So direct, douche canoe, it's not discrimination. It's covering their own asses for liability issues. You can be doing it with black powder. The same thing with the crossbow. You can shoot it up to 100 yards easily. With the if that was a law or something that Bass Pro had to be beholden to, then every store in Arizona that sold crossbows would have to have people fill this out. Well, yeah, direct dumbass, there are the laws, but Bass Pro Shop, just like any other company in the United States, does have the right to create 
policies that involve their stores, just so long as they don't violate the laws or constitution or anything like that. So if Fast Pro Shop feels the need to have you fill out this form because of an incident that occurred with one of their crossbows, well, that is just tough shit, dude. I didn't fill this out a week ago at Walmart. That's not, I mean, then that would be a policy, and then it would have to be clearly listed on here. You can't just whimsically place this form in front of me and say, if you want to buy a bow, you got to fill this out because you got tattoos and we're discriminating. Discriminating against you right now. Oh, but baby. Oh, here comes the persecution complex. I mean, it's all about your tattoos, isn't it? That point you out as a uh, criminal. Well, directee, I happen to know a lot of people with tattoos who haven't committed a single crime in their life. So why don't you take that little persecution complex and your little issue about your tattoos being the, at the root cause of it, shine it up real nice, turn that SOB sideways, and shove it up where the sun don't shine. Yeah, it's, it's, I mean, this is some crazy crackhead shit right here. Okay, well, he's going to know exactly who I am. Because uh, it doesn't say bow or crossbow in here. It says firearm, black powder firearm. That's it. Black powder firearm. A crossbow in the federal regulations is not considered a firearm. Well, that's one of, just one of those duh moments right there, Direct D. I mean, it's a precursor to a firearm anyway, so therefore it doesn't qualify as a firearm to begin with because, well, there's no black powder or gunpowder or anything like that launching the projectile to begin with. So yeah, just one of those duh moments right there. I mean, so far you've got this one right, but even a uh, stopped clock is right twice a day. Not in the state of Arizona or federally. I mean, I literally have a YouTube channel running and operating in Arizona that discusses federal and Arizona state laws, so... Yeah, a very piss poor channel to begin with because, well, you quite frankly have a very difficult time even understanding what the laws are to begin with, misinterpreting what you do know, and, well, quite frankly, cherry picking them too. Which I do believe uh, cherry picking the law has gotten what that uh, wanted level on your ass. I mean, right now you pretty much got a one star wanted level in GTA terms, but, uh, well, I can't wait to see the five-star wanted level. This is going to be interesting. Bass Pro denied me to buy a crossbow, but Walmart let me. That would be a policy, then, and it would have to be clearly listed in your policies. Under UCC, do you know what UCC codes are? Universal Commercial Codes? I mean, you guys have to operate under that. It has to be clearly listed on here. It's not. Can you provide the exact code that you're describing? Otherwise, you're just pulling something out of your ass again. So give us a quote and a citation of exactly where it comes from. Otherwise, shut your damn mouth. That means you're being discriminatory, which is against federal regulations and the law. You realize that? That's what you guys are all participating in right now by putting this in front of me. I'm not Assuming you, everybody that comes in here and buys a bow, did you, did you give them one of these papers? Because I watched two people buy a bow that didn't get one of these. Oh, quit playing the damn persecution card. If that really happened, can you show us the video evidence of that to prove that? Did you actually see the tra whole transaction play take place? Did you actually see them uh, get this paper? Did you actually see them fill it out or anything like that? Otherwise, you're just lying at this point, which is something you do continuously. We sold more than two bows a day? That's awesome. <laughs> we never sell bows. <laughs> Not a crossbow, but uh, it's the same thing. Right. 
you think they would have a correct paperwork for it if that's what they were doing. Instead of saying that. Does it say crossbow anywhere on there too? No. no this is a, this yeah. is all the security questions they ask you in a in a background check. Because a child, a 16 year old, can come in here with adult permission to buy a crossbow. You don't give this to a minor with adult permission that comes in to buy one. I mean, do you realize how ridiculous this looks right now? Super discriminatory. You see a couple tattoos and my face covered, and now you hit me with shit to make sure I'm not a felon. I absolutely am a felon, but I'm allowed to buy a crossbow. All right. That's the mistake you guys are making right now. Walmart just sold me one, and you guys are doing it on a basis that's not listed in here under store policies. It's not on the internet. Big mistake. That's called discrimination. Dude, you still haven't proven beyond the shadow of a doubt that you are being discriminated against. So far, all I've heard from anybody else but you is that this is part of a policy because of an issue that occurred when a bow, when a crossbow was purchased from a store and someone ended up getting unalived because of it, which is an understandable concern, but it is not discrimination, dude. I don't think you understand how many phone calls the store is going to get because of this. Yeah, maybe a lawsuit too, dude. So you might want to go talk to your bosses, maybe it's not call. My problem. It's, it's not my problem. That's me. I'll tell you. I'll tell you a crossbow. Mm -hmm. Uh, you the manager? I am, yes, sir. So why am I giving being given this paper on a discriminatory basis? Well, this is for firearms. This uh, isn't, a, this isn't a policy. Let's start over. So we're, we're going to start from the very beginning. So there is just not discriminatory. So this is just policy for our store, Bass Pro and Cabela's. Okay, for retail sales of black powder firearms, Correct. right? That's where I'm going to lead into my second point. Where's the other paper for the second point? That's where I'm going to lead in my second point. Okay. If you let me kind of explain what's going to happen. Because I'm on your side. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. So there is just confusion and mix-up of information that was told, information that was passed down, versus actually what's Arizona state law. Arizona state law, you don't have to do any paperwork. I know. Yep. You don't have to do any paperwork. You don't have to do any of this. Technically, if you want, you can buy a crossbow and send it to your home. Right? But if you want From to. From Amazon. Pretty much. If you wanted to, you could do what I do and buy a black powder firearm for 30 bucks in an auction and ship it to your home. I don't want to buy a black powder firearm. But you... Mm -hmm. Understand understand the point I'm making. I do. Arizona state law. There's the mix up that you're confusing the, was discriminatory. It was just mix up from what we have received down from people above us versus what Arizona state law is. While the people that received and gave this information, they're not in this state. Every state has different laws. We convened, we talked based off Arizona state law. If you want to buy a crossbow, by all means, buy a crossbow. So why was I given it? That's what I want to understand here. Because it's fine if there was a mistake. So, but when you brought it over, you were a little shaky, man. So you were nervous about handing me this paper for a reason. So why was that? Who told you to give me the paperwork? I did. Why? That's because because that told. was passed down. So that, do you that's do that with everybody that comes if, in for a crossbow? Yeah, and black powder. Why? So that, that's not the if same you let thing. Let me finish, dude. brother. I'll tell so you. That's what, there's, that's what there's, we're trying to explain it. There's managers. There's different managers. There's compliance. There's the government. There's yeah, way too many unions. You make too many chiefs, not enough Indians. That's what's happening here. Okay? This, the, the end result is that you're getting a crossbow. Okay? So I'm probably not going to buy one because of the way I was made to feel today. But I Oh, but baby. I want you to understand something, that the federal government doesn't even designate a crossbow as a weapon. I agree with you. We understand that. There's compliance in Bass Pro that we got to follow. So, so remember how I was but talking about Bass Pro and Cabela's? It's a policy. Correct. But yeah. this was handed down from someone above us. State. This is handed down from some of us saying, hey, this is need to be done for this type of transactions. However, that person's not in Arizona. The Arizona state law is completely different. So it's not like sell crossbows often. We do. Not, well, because this seems like something that you might have run into last week. Like, just do, you, do people just fill this out blindly and just yeah. do it? What the fuck? Yeah. Really? So, like I said, like he said, a lot of teams. Uh, that's not cool. This is a lot of collection of information right here. I agree. Why people don't feel comfortable with that. I agree. Okay. So I'm going to do a story about this. My YouTube channel is Direct D. I mean, you guys can look me up right now. I'm not suing anybody, dude. Uh, I just throw shit out to get people to react emotionally, and that's exactly what you did. So, Direct Douche Canoe, you just came out and admitted that you do all this just for the reactions. Okay, uh... 
So you uh, got yourself kicked out of the hospital uh, while your uh, child was being born just for reactions on YouTube. And you threatened to unalive four police officers because you wanted to uh, see what the reaction would be on YouTube. Well, congratulations, you are a blooming moron, Direct D. And now you're on the run because of it, and... Well, I'm sure it's just going to get worse from here for you. Direct D, you are just too stupid for your own good. I mean, good luck. At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.